announcement, Goddard College spoke to the media on why students chose an infamous American prisoner as their keynote speaker. Mumia Abu Jamal, who was convicted in 1982 of first degree murder for gunning down Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner, spoke to a small group of Goddard, of Goddard grads via a pre recorded video message today. WPTZ's Rachel Cars is live in the newsroom with reactions from today's commencement. Rachel, what was the mood like on campus? Well, Jared, there was a wide range of opinions being heard on Goddard's campus today. While some were in support of the students' choice, others questioned why the school would allow such a controversial speaker. And what Goddard College is doing today is shameful. For Patty Wolf, the story of violence against cops hits close to home. My brother, Sergeant Mike Johnson, was a Vermont State Trooper killed in the line of duty in 2003. Um, our family has to live with that every day, and it's very painful. She says Goddard College's decision to give a convicted cop killer a public platform was disrespectful. To know that Maureen Faulkner not only has to live with the death of her husband, the murder of her husband, but then has to have something like this bring him back, the murderer be, back, be brought back into public, is just a shame. Those close to Mumia Abu Jamal, however, disagree. Mumia is incredibly humanizing. His material is not polemic. It's not didactic. It's not offensive. It's so inviting. For you graduates, your studies, visits to lands beyond your own, were done to give you both insight and confidence to work in the world, to try to create social change. The roughly 20 Goddard graduates picked Abu Jamal as their commencement speaker. Your job isn't how to get a job. It's to make a difference. The controversial choice of speaker not only sparked heated debate, Goddard College officials say there were potential concerns for the safety of students. There have been certain uh, posturing and words that have come our way that we believed led us to want to make a security-based decision to switch the time. The school amped up security at the earlier event, setting aside areas for peaceful protest. Wolf says she still believes the school made a mistake and the students should rethink who they look to for inspiration. And I hope and I pray that after this graduation commencement being sent on their way by this murderer, they have a better understanding of what real life is like. Now, this is the second time Goddard graduates have pulled in their controversial alum to give the commencement speech. Abu Jamal spoke to a graduate class back in 2008. School officials say even with the outcry from protesters, they're standing behind their students. Live in the newsroom, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. All right, thanks a lot, Rachel. Now to a little bit of backstory on the college itself. Goddard was chartered back in.